Hi there. Was starting to think you wouldn't show. We'll have this ship of yours fixed in no time. I might have exaggerated a teensy bit about the damage. It was sweet of you, flying all the way out here to save me. You seem like a nice guy. Just so you know, this isn't personal. I have to kill you. But it's for love. Nobody's ever tried to kill me for love before. <laughs> it's romantic, right? See this wavy light around my body? It's a ray shield. Blaster fire can't get in or out. <laughs> Neat, huh? If blaster fire can't get out, how will you kill me? Shh, quiet. I have to make a call. Skavik? <laughs> it's me, Felara. Surprise! Uh, long time no see, sweetheart. How'd you get this hollow frequency? Does it matter? I've missed you so much, Honey Bunch. I missed you too, Honey Bunch. What is this, Captain? You're making an army out of my ex-girlfriends? It's not like that at all. This is your nemesis, right? The Captain who stole your ship on Coruscant and made you look stupid? Why don't I leave you lovebirds alone? Got a better idea. I'll leave. Can't think of a better punishment for you. Don't be like that. You know you love me. You're just afraid of commitment. I can prove how much I love you, Honey Bunch. I'm killing this nemesis for you. Get him, boys. Good. You're not the first to notice. I thought for sure I had enough droids to kill you. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> uh, let's just call this even. With my ray shield on, you can't hurt me. Hey, Lara, how are you powering that ray shield? Portable battery pack. You know those only last a few minutes, right? Oh, no. Aw, oh, did the instructions have too many big words? <gasps> Honey Bunch, my shield is down! What am I gonna do? I don't know. Die? Kill you later, Captain. Honey Bunch, wait! He... He hung up! I, I thought he loved me! <gasps> I better get moving. Sure, go. Just like he did. I won't stop you. The hatches are unsealed! Well, that was, uh... Not worth the detour. Because now I have to go and fit it. Oh, I can just talk to the companions. I can do that for... Uh, six minutes. Oh, oh. Oh,
Let me guess. It was a trap. One of Skavik's old flames tried to kill me. I'm not even gonna ask. If there's one thing I hate, it's phony distress calls. They make spacers too paranoid to answer the real ones. We'll be more careful next time. We? I'm always careful, Captain. Not sure you know the meaning of the word. Let's get out of here. Deep space gives me the creeps. I've set up some new deals on Alderaan and Tatooine. Ready to deliver the rest of this cargo? Whatever it takes to make me rich. That's the spirit. never like asking for favors, Captain, but I think maybe we know each other well enough by now. I want to look for my cousin Rona. She's all the family I got left, and I think she should know what happened. Never worry about favors, Corso. You're part of my crew. Thank you, Captain. Rona came with me when I left for the brigade, but she jumped ship at the first port. All she ever wanted was to get off Ord Mantell. I thought maybe we could track her down. You'd like her. She's really the reason I'm here. You two will be back together before you can say a verbal thirst vibroblade. Uh, a verbal... Th verbal... <sighs> so not that soon, then. Rona was kind of our family rebel. We used to have a blast together. She liked me to run interference, so her father never caught her on dates with off-worlders. I look forward to meeting her. On second thought, maybe I shouldn't introduce you to... Rona's always had a nose for trouble. I remember one time, Uncle came looking for Rona while she was on the shuttle pod with some Agamarian pirate. I was about 12. I didn't know how else to distract Uncle, so I started to fight. Got the whole ship confiscated. I never did find out how Rona got out of city jail. I found someone who knows my cousin Rona. He's a street doctor in Coruscant. Kind of a shady character, but that's who Rona always drifted to. I think he really can get us to her, but... If it gets you to your cousin, I'm in. Just tell me what I'm signing on for. Thank you, Captain. After some of the stuff we've done. I'm just saying it'd have to be one ugly mission to be worth turning down a chance to see my cousin. Let's just go to Coruscant and hear this guy out. Sure, why not? I have the cash to do that. There. Better? Wow. Even the cantinas here are big. Dharma says this is the best watering hole on the planet. Look. If it's a matter of credits, we can negotiate a new price. Placing the bounty here. Ah, Captain and Corso Riggs. It's good to meet such generous souls in a place like this. I'm Dr. Hope. I like to think of myself as a messenger of mercy, caring for the poor, forsaken citizens of the underlevels. We don't need the pitch. Just tell us what you know about Rona. 
I'd be happy to, but as a doctor, I must put the needs of my patients first. Is that your real name? The citizens of Lower Coruscant call me that for the ray of hope I bring to their cramped and miserable lives. I'm sure. Right, so I've got some, uh, life-saving medications that need delivering. Unfortunately, Coruscant security only cares about the rich. They don't let anyone distribute, uh, medications in the underlevels at all. You better not be asking us to go after Coruscant security. Well, I don't want to get you, or me, into trouble with the law. The only way to get my meds down without getting stopped is to carry them inside a living body. What? Oh my god, They'll be Tribunal. safely stored in surgical plastic and implanted under the skin. My, uh, nurse can remove them on the other end. You still think this guy is on the up and up? No. Doesn't mean he doesn't know Rona. This was always Rona's kind of thing. Breaking the law to do good under the nose of a corrupt authority. It's worth it if I get to see her. I'll just need you to come with me a moment, Master Riggs. Perfect. These vials should stay sealed for at least 12 hours, no problem. I'll tell my contact, uh, nurse, to expect you. When we get back, Rona better be waiting. See ya. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to work, but, uh, I now have a shortcut that I can probably exploit with, a rack abuse, but the issue is I'm never going to come back to this point, so does it really matter? Well, the trooper might, but I won't on this character, probably. Let's have us some fun, Captain. You bring goods? Doctors say, two people, look out. Now time, cut out spice. Did she say spice? What happened to, oh, I'll do anything for... You bring, doc, now time. Did she say spot? You thought you were smuggling cough syrup? You b doc now. Did she say spy? This slime is going down. You used us. If you weren't a lady, you'd. I gotta go have a word with your boss. I not speak basic. You say take spice away? Good spice. I give good money. Big, uh, how you say, cut? 
We're not asking for a bigger cut, you idiot. Let's deal with our messenger of mercy. Definitely. This is going to be your last shipment, lady. Get a job. Credits, we can negotiate a uh, Did the delivery go well? Yeah, we did your dirty work, you fraud. Now, where's my cousin? You keep us waiting? I've got a few things to implant in you. Whoa, whoa, back off there, soldier. You're looking for Rona Riggs, right? Well, she's the one who thought you two would be right for the job. Don't shoot the messenger. Just like the old days, eh, cuz? Of course, I'm a little more big time now than Ma and Pa ever would have allowed. Your cousin sure doesn't look like a farm girl anymore, Corso. Rona, what... what happened to you? What are you doing here? I'm the underboss for the Black Suns on this part of Coruscant. Not bad, considering five years ago I was shoveling Ronto dung. The Black Suns? You're... a gang member? Gang leader. You think I should write home? Make Ma and Pa proud? Sorry to be the one to tell you. But Corso's the only family you've got. They're all dead, Rona. Separatists got them. Ha! <laughs> After all that grousing about the big dangerous galaxy? Guess that showed them. How can you say that? Don't you care? We obviously came just in time. Come on, Rona. We're getting you out of here. Poor chivalrous little Corso. Don't you get it? I don't need to be rescued. I chose this life. There's only two ways out of that life, sweetheart. With us, or in a body bag. This isn't what you wanted, Rona. We talked about wild adventures, not smuggling spice. You wanted to be like the captain, right? Thumb your nose at society and use your freedom to make a difference. You can still do that. It was a nice dream. But this is where I woke up. I'm sorry I dragged you into it. Go with your captain. Maybe you two can show me how to make a better life. I think you're all right. Okay, I didn't think that would work. I thought you had to do it from your ship, but apparently not. That's intriguing. Wow, it just skips you all the way. Uh, wow. You know I enjoy talking, but huh. I got nothing to say. <laughs>